Hi, this for this video, I would want to give you a challenge on, on doing some density-related problems in stoichiometry. Now, I just want to share to you again, refresh you on where is density in the stoichiometry roadmap and how to, do we go about the computations. Let me just go back to the previous video on how we did mold density problems using this particular problem, combination reaction of aluminum and oxygen forming your aluminum oxide. Always remember that every time you're doing with stoichiometry problems, begin with a balanced chemical equation. And in this case, our equation is already balanced, so therefore we can begin with a computation. Remember that in this particular problem, three moles of aluminum is the given, and you're asked for the grams of aluminum oxide. So that means this is a mole to mass problem. Then right after getting the mass, because you're given the density of aluminum oxide to be 3.69 grams per cubic centimeter, you can then determine the volume of this amount of aluminum oxide. So to recall, the process was to get the mass first of aluminum oxide. So because this is a mole to mass problem, you begin by writing the given and then the first conversion factor will be the mole ratio of aluminum and aluminum oxide to be followed by the molar mass of your aluminum oxide so you cancel out the units and then you can get the mass of 152.94 grams of aluminum oxide so this is automatically your mass of aluminum oxide which is expressed in grams so grams is always the default unit of mass every time you're dealing with a mass related problem in stoichiometry and if you go back to the density given, you're given 3.69 grams per cubic centimeter. So the unit of density is already compatible with your unit of mass. So therefore, you don't have any problem. And to recall, density's primary um, equation is mass over volume. So to get volume, that's going to be mass over density. So volume is mass, the mass that you got over the given density 3.69 so this way you cancel out both of the grams and then you're left with gram a uh, cm cube so therefore inputting all of these values in the calculator you will get 41.45 cubic centimeter so remember that density can come at the end of the computation or it may also be at the start but both densities are attached to mass factor or physical quantity in the stoichiometry roadmap so let me just give you some points to note points to note and mistakes to avoid if you're dealing with density related stoichiometric problems these are the points to note remember that density is always mass over volume Volume is mass over density, and mass is density times volume. Units have to be compatible. Convert if needed. Usual conversion factors are the following here. So for volume, 1 ml is equivalent to 1 cubic centimeter. 1 liter is 1,000 ml. 1 cubic meter is 1,000 liters. For mass, the usual is 1 kilogram is to 1,000 gram, and 1 gram has 1,000 milligram. Mistakes to avoid. This may be because of your carelessness. Density cannot be inserted in between. When we say in between, remember densities are always just extensions of masses. Masses of the given, it can be mass of the given or mass of the required. So it's always on both ends of the stoichiometry roadmap. And start always with the values that you are given, not with any substance that's mentioned in the problem. Identify first what type of stoichiometric calculation that you're going through, that you are going to do based on what you're given and what you're required. If there's a density, that means you cannot get or you cannot do any density-related calculations if there is no mass. So that means it always involves any mass-related conversion factor. In that case, if there's mass, there's always the conversion factor of molar mass, which will come from your periodic table. And the unit of molar mass is always the value of the grams in every one mole of that substance, and molar mass can never include the coefficients in calculating it. So, let me end this short recap of density by giving you this problem. I'm making this more challenging on your part. This is a density-to-density -density problem. Let me leave you with this. So, I'm giving you the density roadmap given density A and ending up with density B. I am placing here 
the conversion factors, there are five of them that you can use. So I'm giving you the chemical equation of the combustion of your ethanol gas. So this is your ethanol liquid, reacts with oxygen gas, forming your carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. So here is the problem. The density of ethanol is 0.789 grams per ml. When 0.25 liter of ethanol reacts with your oxygen gas, how many grams of carbon dioxide are produced? And if the density of carbon dioxide produced in the reaction is 1.80 grams per cubic centimeter, what is the volume of the amount of this gas? So you have to give me two answers in this. Now, I want you to follow the roadmap I'm placing on top of the chemical equation. And you do follow this. And I would expect your answers to be given in the comments below in this video. Please leave your answers as a comment. Before that answers, you may put some questions also or clarifications or you may expound on your answers and how you got the correct answer in this particular problem or your methodology and how to approach it. So please solve this problem and I would expect your comments below. So this is Madam Narka. Always remember to never stop learning, relearning, and unlearning. Please like, share, comment,